Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verses 10 and 11. Proverbs, chapter 9, verses 10 and 11. First part is a very famous verse. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For by me your days will be multiplied, and years of life will be added to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For by me your days will be multiplied, and years of life will be added to you. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. So this first part, we hear it all the time, and it's true. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If you, if we have this desire for good life, to be safe and healthy, and um, it doesn't mean we're not going to be, un, we're, we're not going to struggle, but the best life is to trust that God knows what's best for us, not, ourselves we are his creation we are his children he is the one who knows exactly what we need i was thinking of the prodigal son that story in the book of luke how that son that who went astray his father already had it all figured out was taking care of them had he stayed under his protective wings he wouldn't have had to struggle like that, but it's through his struggles that he got the revelation and he got the fear of his father, which we, our heavenly father, is the fear of the Lord. And he understood, hey, maybe God knows better than I know. And so he came back, praise the Lord for that. And uh, that's why we're safer. We get our years of life would be added to us. And even if God says we've completed our mission here, Years without end will be added to us by trusting in him and him alone and not ourselves or anything or anyone else. Praise the Lord. Let's look at some other supporting verses here today. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22 says, For my people are foolish, they have not known me. They are silly children and they have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Amen. So you see... To know God is what keeps us out of trouble. When we don't understand him and his ways, we try to be good on our own and we really struggle. Uh, like the Apostle Paul said, the things he willed to do, those things he didn't do. The things he didn't want to do, those are the things he did. But to know God is the, what really sets us free of all of this. Hosea chapter 6, verse 6 says, for I desire mercy and not sacrifice and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. Really to get to know him is part the, a major, major part of our journey here while we're still on these, this earth. Who is the one who did everything for us, who sacrificed everything for us? To know him is spiritual maturity. To know him is life and peace and rest. It is, he is the answer the knowledge of God. So as we see in our word of the day today, to fear him is to know that he knows better than we do and to respect what he has to say to keep us out of trouble. And to know him is how we understand everything. Praise the Lord. And so, Lord, we thank you for this word. We thank you that um, you, you, you love us. You know what's best for us. And you're just reminding us today that, um, to get to know you is the answer. It's not about our own wisdom, the wisdom of this world, our own strength or anything else, but to pursue you. You are a rewarder of those who seek you diligently. So put that in our hearts. Let that be the priority of our lives. And we know we'll be blessed and our days will be ex extended forever. Praise the Lord. All right. That is our word of the day. Praise the Lord.